Welcome to CJ vs. AJ. I am CJ, and today I'm playing The Forest. This is currently on Steam in the public alpha. We're on patch number 0.38, currently about one day from patch 0.39. Hopefully if this becomes a multiple part let's play, we can check out, see what sort of changes were made. But right now we're just going to jump into it, play it as is. I've actually played about 10 minutes of this game just to get an idea into the feel of it. And I, I like it. I'm excited. It's another one of those survival games. A lot of those are coming around right now. Uh, all sort of inspired by Minecraft. You know, collect things, build things, survive. And it's that, but very polished. Like, it's very well done. It's very pretty. Even in alpha right now, I can see that it's got a lot of potential. It's similar. Yeah, I find it better than the Ark uh, which, like, I really love dinosaurs. I am a big dinosaur aficionado. But the Ark's gameplay, it, it leaves a lot to be desired for me. It's very glitchy. doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to be doing. Things like that. And this, it, it's very efficient in teaching you how to play and getting you started. And I'm enjoying this a lot more. So here we are opening, like many games apparently that I've seen, especially on Steam, uh, opening up in some sort of airplane. We got little Timmy here, and for some reason he's reading a survival book. Almost like he knows what's going to happen. This little premonition bastard. Uh, doesn't tell me for whatever reason. And, oh, that's one thing that I never really thought of. Is, well, you're about to see things go belly up really quickly. And Timmy goes missing. Oh, oh, shit. Spoiler. Okay. I've already forgot what happens to Timmy. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Shit. Go south, literally, as we dive bomb into the forest. Uh, yeah, 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 come on. Bye, dude. Timmy doesn't seem to be awake here. Yeah, he's just ragdolling all around. Yeah, alright, whatever. Nobody gives a shit. So, this was really unexpected to me. I didn't look too much in this game. I didn't know what the plot was. Uh, apparently we have the weird water zombie creature from that one Are You Afraid of the Dark episode. The thing that lives in the pool. Uh, and he just decides to take our kid. Um, Timmy! No! And yeah, that's about it. And then we wake up, and we don't give a shit. It's just sort of like, oh look, we're lost. We, we're bloody. We gotta figure out what to do. And there's no, where is my son? I need to chase after that guy and find my son. And it's like... All right, let's turn around and start collecting sodas. <laughs> so yeah, E, we collect everything we need to eat right now, so we start eating all these rations that are so uh, delicately placed. You'd think with the entire clusterfuck that happened to this plane and all the crashing, the open food inside of these, like, dinner containers would be all over the floor. But no, everywhere they're just neatly still sitting there open and ready to eat. So we're going to walk around, collect what we can, eat what we can... Um, like a pig, we're just gonna eat like four meals in a row. Doesn't matter to us. Uh, there's a lot of art on this plane. There's a lot of dead children. And then we got this random flight attendant with an axe in her body. You gotta assume that it belongs to what's-his-face red dude. Go ahead and eat this like Pac-Man. And yeah, then we start. As far as I remember, there's not a whole lot to collect around here. Uh, one weird thing is you can find locked containers, and you just open them with a gentle little smack. Snap collected, cloth collected. So, just like Minecraft, you gotta kinda go around and collect things. As far as I can tell, there's no real limit to what you can hold in your inventory. If I press I, we get this little blanket, and we can see what we've collected, like rocks, blah blah blah. So it could just be you can't collect anything more than you can fit on here, so the rocks are gonna take up more space, etc, etc. But I've actually got no idea how it works. I didn't get that far. I just sort of got to a place where I went like, yeah, this is a cool game. Uh, more cloth collected. A tennis ball. What the fuck am I going to do with the tennis ball? Fuck off. So yeah, initial, my initial playthrough, I did not go through here and open any of these up. I, it's not until I found another encampment that I know that I could actually even do this. So might as well do it while it's here. I'm probably not getting a whole lot that I actually need from this, because it's not like the people on the plane were ready for, you know, everything to go down. Well, you probably really should. Uh, not to get too dark, but there's a lot of planes getting shot down lately, and having some basic survival skills might not be a bad idea. Uh, so yeah, B opens your survival book. This is your little tutorial. This is really handy. Uh, so you can learn basics of survival... 
Uh, how, hunting shelter. Uh, huh. That looks interesting. Uh, so yeah, you can sort of skip through here. And this is your ability to place things if you've got what it needs. You can just sort of place it down. Uh, and then you can see this is super creepy to me. It's like, what is the logic here? These places are obviously for voodoo, effigies, things like that. But it's covered in blood. If I'm not mistaken, this was my son's book before. Did he cover this in blood? Like, this is pre-existing. No other pages are covered in blood, so it's not from the accident. So what the fuck was Timmy up to? But anyway, no stats on your body, like, I'm 100% sane, I'm pretty thirsty, I'm not really hungry. And, yeah, except, ooh, what was this? Alright, yeah, I didn't really look at that before. That's what all the different items do, etc, etc. So, we're gonna go ahead and keep looking around, collecting shit. Uh, one thing that I fucked up on in my last play is I didn't collect enough materials, so by the time I needed them, it was a little bit too late. Uh, uh, anything else? You guys spotting anything? I guess we can open this up too. Finding meds and stuff like that seems to be a very important thing. I haven't actually had to use any yet, but I mean, it's not like we're going to find too many meds out in the open, right? So get them while you can, really. Uh, it's about it. One last one. Uh, we can drink this water, or we should be able to drink this water. Oh, I guess it's saying that we're not thirsty enough yet. So, last time I went off in that direction, hoping to find a river. Didn't realize there was a river right next to me. So, in general, you want to stick to rivers if you're... Oh, hi. Fuck! Too slow. Uh, you want to stick to rivers because they're a method of drinking if, if they're not tied into the ocean. And there's usually animals around it. Um, so if I just follow this along, my logic is real life is going to be all sorts of things to kill and eat. And it's a relatively safe place to eventually build my shelter. Uh, and it's got everything you sort of need right by it. You know, you've got... Ooh, hi lizard. I haven't seen you before. You're pretty. Oh, fuck. I should have killed it while I had a chance. Uh, where did the river go? Shit. Alright, that was just a tiny pond. So, well, that's a good place to set up my first shelter. It's also very close to where you land, and that's not very adventurous, is it? Oh, oh! Interesting. I didn't realize that there was going to be other existing shelters in this. Fuck you! Oh my god. This weapon is not really efficient. Where did you go? Really efficient for killing these things. Oh, it's a little rabbit. Adorable. Bye, little rabbit. Bye, little lizard. It's my survival over yours. I'm sorry. Thank you. Raw rabbit collected. What? Oh, it's the head. That's dark. Catch! Oh, I can't throw it. All right, G to drop. We're covered in blood. Wash it off to avoid infection. Oh, what is that? What are those weird round things there? Ah. See, I'm getting really lucky with collecting all this shit. Um, I'll go wash off the blood and then figure out this encampment. I'm thinking I might as well just steal it. I mean, I'm not gonna anytime soon be able to build more than that, right? So it's like, why shouldn't I take advantage of what some other poor souls have created? And is the blood wash off? I don't actually know if there's anything in the water. I could just be like... Walking up to crocodiles or something there. No. No, there, there's crocodiles in uh, fresh water. No, this is salt water, though. It's an ocean. I don't know. I don't I don't know the details of crocodiles and uh, what it takes for them to live. I am a city boy. It's not something that I've been trained in, unfortunately. What the fuck are these things? Hello? Hello? Oh. Little encampments. So I could sleep here at night if I want to, apparently. Uh, what does C do? Uh, choose it. Oh, you can save. Uh, might as well save. That's cool. Alright. Yeah, I never found a way to save before. Uh, from what I read, you could just save uh, in shelters, so I guess these count. Is there any way for me to, like, break this down? Or What was that sound? Ooh. Sticks and pots. Can't collect a pot. Fuck. Thirsty, find clear water to drink. Alright, so that's one thing that isn't in this area, is clear water. 
Though, huh. If I go to I, I should have, I have booze, uh, lowers energy, can be used in crafting. Uh, I do have soda. So, that seemed to fill up my, no, it filled up that as well. Alright, cool. Speaking of wild animals, my cat is on the bed here, freaking the fuck out. He's all fluffy-tailed and twitching and running around like something's trying to kill him. Shut up. We're dealing with fake animals. Don't talk to me. Alright, so, we'll explore this encampment. There's got to be something of use here. Uh, seem to be some sort of cages. Oh, bye. Uh, so, yeah, does this count as shelter? It's got to count as shelter. Can I set this on fire? i got to set it on fire. None of this seems to be interactable. Uh, meds collected. Like, how is this not saying allowing me to save or sleep or anything like that? Oh, oh, what, what was that? Um, something just flew at me and then disappeared. This. Feather collected. Interesting. Alright, so this is the... Ugh. Alright, F-E-G. What, what is in... I don't know if this is a good thing, but... Yeah. Watch me be, like, cursed or something now. Oh, spider! Speeder! Speeder! No, that's gotta be useful somehow. Did I get it? Ah. Uh, I was figuring, like, oh, that's gonna give you, like, poison or something that you can, like, use to hunt animals. Oh, shit, there's a foot. Uh, skull collected. Can't carry any more rocks. Uh, stick collected. Yeah, okay. So there wasn't a whole lot in this area. Then, you know, I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting there to be more things for me to sort of take advantage of. I hear something rotting. Money! It's like, I'm, that's going to be useful out here. What is rotting? Aside from, you know, that foot. Um, that's very bloody. That's, that's very fresh as well. I mean, it could just be uh, a shitty texture. Like, it's a very pretty texture, but either that's supposed to be fresh or they just have no way to, like, make it all coagulated. Will you stop freaking out, you little shit? God damn it. Alright. Um, so I guess we'll just keep moving along the shore. Because, yeah, there's a place to sleep here, and that's helpful. But there's no fresh water for me to drink. Oh, hi, lizard. Uh, fuck. Alright. Yeah, I, I think, like, this is a good place to start. But it's not going to be too efficient long term. So, we might as well keep moving. I did not notice that in the previous time I played. I wonder if you can get up there. I wonder if this is like, you can just access everything you can see. Like, how far can I swim out there? Can I go over there? Can I climb up that? So many questions. Uh, so, so yeah, my first impressions is this is a very high quality survival game. There's a lot of these right now, all just sort of cannibalizing the market and taking over... Uh, what like I, what I imagine is a relatively small player base turtle, and just competing with each other for being the best survival game. Oh, I didn't kill him. I just scared him. All right, I'm gonna let you live. You're cute. Cuteness is you know more important than my survival. What am I gonna do with his shell you know, anyway? Like I can make turtle soup fine, but it's not like I could just put that around my head and wear it as a helmet. Hi, buddy. Oh. But I don't know if he's useful. Oh. I, I don't want to kill him. But I kind of need his shell. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sorry. He didn't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Turtle shell collected. I knew, I knew it would come in useful. You didn't see anything. Don't fucking say a word. If you tell anybody, I'm going to come back and kill you. Oh, I'm covered in blood. Yeah, what the, why the fuck would turtle blood give me an infection? That makes no sense. What sort of diseases can a turtle take? Or have? Alright. Oh! Oh! Oh, how, how did I attract you guys? Alright, so this was an interesting turn of events that I did not expect in my last Let's Play. These weird mutant things. I've never seen more than one, and fuck, you're fast. Look at these fucking advanced dodge rolls this asshole's doing. 
Alright, yeah. You see what I did to your buddy? Yeah. Fuck you. So, the only real slowdown that I've seen in the game comes from when these guys are attacking. Uh, I had to turn down my settings from high to medium just so it didn't, like, bog down the gameplay. Fuck you. Are you running? Are you running? Are you running? Yo, yeah. You want to bow up on me? This is what happens, motherfucker. I'll chop off your anti-dick. You've got nothing down there. Nothing. I miss completely. Fuck you. Yeah. He, the texture on his face completely changed when I chopped off his head. Uh, what else can I chop off? I've only actually decapitated the head. Oh, that is awesome. I mean, that is gruesome. That's terrible. Why would anyone want to do this? Legs collected. Yeah, this is gross. It's upsetting. Thank you. I can just carry around the body. That is awesome. Alright, G to drop. Alright, we can't leave him with his head, right? I mean, he's kind of forfeited that when he attacked me. And... Go fuck yourself. Clean off whatever blood might be on me. And then we're off to go again. See, so far the combat is not difficult. I've never really been at risk of dying, as far as I can see. But these are early level, like, random encounters. Uh, excuse me, tortoise. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know where to go. We, we want to find some sort of small pond that has drinkable water that's deep enough to get blood off of. And so, there we go. Alright, so yeah, this seems like... Is it deep? Yes, it is. Alright. This seems like a decent place to set up camp. We're by water. We've got turtles. We've got places to explore. I'm going to go ahead and make shelter right here. So open it up. We want to go find basic fire. Uh, gonna go ahead and we place it with E, and then you keep pressing E to put all the various, like, uh, pieces that you need. Leaves, I, ne I have six of seven, fuck. Um, so I need to find a fairly, yeah, like higher plants like these, they're what give you leaves. Just walk up, give it a little chop. Now we have seven out of seven. Though, for my next part, I know I'm gonna need more leaves, but we'll do one piece at a time. And let me just go ahead and light it up. And there we go. We have our fire. I don't actually know if... Oh, interesting. I don't know if the... Oh, oh, hi. No, 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 I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Come back. Shit. All right. Yeah, I don't know how long the fire will last, if I have to collect more leaves to, like, keep it um, going or not. Uh, it's going to have to be a trial and error thing. What is this? What is this? Uh, stick collected, aloe vera, alright. Um, so yeah, what I know I'm gonna need eventually is a lot more leaves, so I'm gonna just go ahead and walk through and just collect all these. Uh, I'm gonna need more sticks. One cool thing is you can chop down pretty much any tree you see. Some's obviously gonna take a lot longer than others. Um, or, what am I collecting there? So I can just sort of sit here and continue to chop this down like... Fuck! What is that giant's name? The giant hipster in the flannel shirt with the giant ox. Oh, what am I thinking of? Fuck. We're just gonna call him Jim. Alright, so timbers! And yeah, now you can collect all the smaller logs here, which can be used to build a cabin, apparently. I don't really know how yet. I've tried to, like, chop these into smaller pieces, couldn't figure out how to do it. Because you'd think you could just keep chopping and get more wood. But, yeah, as you can see, it just kind of goes through. Um, need to adjust my setup. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Um, I don't really know what to do next. I mean, I've got my fire going. I could try to build a little bit of more of a shelter for the night uh, once it comes. Uh, did you not give me any leaves there? Uh, more sticks, more sticks, all very useful. What I need are leaves. And this is very riveting gameplay, I can I know, but... Uh, leaf collected. And hopefully that's enough. You can see the sun going down, so I'm gonna need to have my... 
final resting area, so to speak, uh, set up pretty soon. And I'm not really getting much from these trees anymore. Uh, which is worrisome, because, I mean, if I don't... Oh, this is an interesting little area. Why does it seem ominous to me? Like, the hills have eyes, and shit's just gonna start jumping out. What is that? What is that over there? Nothing. Alright, we're gonna go back. You can see all the little textures, like, gleaming in the sun, and to me it sort of looks like motion. And I'm like, oh, there's something over there to kill! So... Alright, now the question's gonna be, can I find my way back to base? Uh, I need more leaves, probably. This is worrisome. Uh, I know it's in this general direction. Ooh, what's up there? Something looks red. Alright, I'm gonna save that till morning. Can't carry any more sticks. Alright, that's fair. Do you guys see my fire? I don't... Oh, yeah, I do. I see it. Uh, so yeah, fire. It's weird. It says it keeps like predators and stuff away, but it can also attract attention. Uh, yeah, so you can stoke the fire a little bit more. That's cool. All right. B, let's build our shelter. Hopefully we have enough. E, we need 26 leaves. We have 21. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, oh, that is so bullshit. Alright, we need more sticks and we need some leaves. Uh, or maybe it's just sticks we need. Stick, sticks. Oh, we need two more. Two more. Yes! Well, that was a stroke of luck. Shelter! Uh, so we'll go ahead and give it a little snooze. Oh. oh, that was a violent wake-up. Okay. So you can only use shelters once, apparently. Alright, so we're thirsty and we're hungry. Alright, I have not figured out how to do this yet. So, take the rabbit, or we're going to proceed to cook it. I don't know how to take the rabbit off. Last time I did it, I don't really want to show you because it's going to fuck me up. Uh, go ahead and drink. Um, can we put away this axe thing? Uh, how do I do it? No, that's just adding shit to the fire. How do I get this rabbit off? Maybe it just pops off when it's done cooking. Because the last thing I did is I managed to find a spear. And I thought, hey, I thought, hey, I can like spirit to like get the thing off and eat it and unfortunately it just destroyed my fire uh speaking of destroying my fire it seems like we're caught in a little bit of a rainstorm all right fuck it can we get pieces back no all right whatever i'm just gonna keep moving then forward and onwards please come back for part two if you find this interesting whatsoever hopefully we can find some more mutants to mutilate and slaughter thank you for watching